Former President Donald Trump has decided that he's going to be tough on Russia. Interesting timing, considering that he has actually no actual power to do anything about Russia. Uh, nonetheless, uh, during an interview, he's going to invoke not only uh, Russia, but the N-word. Take a listen. But I listened to him constantly using the N-word. That's the N-word. And he's constantly using it, the nuclear word. And we never talk of, we say, oh, he's a nuclear power. But we're a greater nuclear power. We have the greatest submarines in the world, most powerful machines ever built. Most powerful, right. and they built, got built under me. Most powerful machines ever built. And nobody knows where they are. And you should say, look, you, if you mention that word one more time, we're going to send them over and we'll be coasting back and forth up and down your coast. The most powerful machines ever. And they were built under me. No. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, so look. Number one, I'm actually glad that they clarified which N-word he was referring to. Just say, it's the nuclear, uh, the, the nuclear. Why don't you just say nuclear then? Why? What, what, what a clown. What a clown. I mean, oh, and by the way, Getting to his so-called idea, oh, we're just going to uh, take our nuclear subs and we're going to just go across the coast, uh, all along the coastline of Russia. Y you know, Russia has the fourth largest coastline in the world. It's over 37,000 miles long, but sure, go ahead. It would make no sense. And by the way, how would you know that they were there? They're supposed to be, they're supposed to be hidden under the water, you know? And by the way, you missed it. Like the, the submarines do not have to be on the coast in order to do damage. Their missiles uh, have extremely long range, thousands of miles. They don't need to be on the coast. They don't need to be, on, oh my God. And again, they're supposed to be hidden. You're not supposed to tell them where your subs are. Oh, my God. This man is incredibly dumb. And consider if he were still in power, what kind of escalation that would cause with the Russian government. He has no idea, no idea the amount of destruction that he could cause doing his ham-handed, ridiculous ideas on foreign policy. Uh, now, he doesn't even know what how much damage nuclear weapons could actually do, what they're capable of. And the thing is, he thinks he knows. He thinks he knows. In fact, here, here he is. This is one of his famous little speeches uh, back in 2015. This is at least part of it. Nuclear is so powerful. My uncle explained that to me many, many years ago, the power, and that was 35 years ago, he would explain the power of what's going to happen, and he was right. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? You know, who would have thought? I mean, I mean, he explained the power to me, uh, very much power, uh, the greatest power, very, very powerful. And you know what? Nobody knows nuclear like Donald Trump. Uh, my uncle, uh, he was a great scientist at MIT. Uh, he told me all about the nuclear. Oh, uh, oh, okay, well then, well, there you go. But wait a minute, he doesn't even know what the nuclear triad is. Here's what he said, quote, I think, I think for me, nuclear is just the power. The devastation is very important to me. You know what the nuclear triad is? It's the ability to deploy nuclear weapons from airplanes, underground silos, and from Nuclear submarines. He had absolutely no idea what that was. And he was president for four years. And he could be president again. He also, by the way, suggested using nuclear weapons on hurricanes. You know, because that makes sense, right? And reportedly often asked his aides about the possibility of using nuclear weapons, even uh, asking if they could, I don't know, drop them on ISIS. 
I mean, this is ridiculous. According to a report, there's a foreign policy expert that on the international level who uh, had went to advise Donald Trump about the nuclear and that three times Trump had asked him about the use of nuclear weapons saying, hey, if we have them, why can't we, why can't we use them? Because you would destroy humanity in the process. The, the whole purpose of having nuclear weapons is as a deterrent to prevent wars. Because what we have is a policy of mutually assured destruction. That's the problem. You launch one nuclear weapon, well, I mean, there's going to be a lot more nuclear weapons launched. Even so, here's, what, here's this quote about ISIS. When asked by Chris Matthews, where, where would we drop a nuclear weapon in the Middle East? I, I, again, already, that's a hugely problematic question. And Trump said, let me explain. Let me explain. Somebody hits us with an ISIS. You wouldn't fight back with a nuke. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. And now all of this, right, uh, 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 this entire thing, plus, plus his election loss had worried the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Mark Milley, so much, so much, that he had took steps to prevent Trump, uh, illegal steps, by the way, from launching, uh, from ordering a nuclear strike during the last month of his presidency. The president... And the president alone, right now, possesses the sole authority to order a nuclear launch. And any attempt to stop them would be literally against the law. Now, I think that's insane. Maybe we need to go and revise that. And I don't know if the, the, the Biden administration has done so, but they should. Because Donald Trump's a madman. And, and look, it, it, if it's not him, it could be somebody else. We, the American people have... Again, chosen a madman before. What happens if they do it next time? A again, he's no longer president, thank goodness, but he's a front runner for the Republican Party right now. I know, I know. The election's still, you know, quite some time away. But right now, he's leaving the Republican field. And that should concern.